All right, so it's Friday, 12, 28 p.m. Tube it, tube it, everybody doing it. We just had a crazy downpour, but it has been absolutely gorgeous, and then it just stopped raining. So, not really sure. But, okay, my life has been a whirlwind the last two days. And, um, once again, I'm going to try to get you caught up. But before I do that, let me just preface it with kind of like what the plan is in my head with this whole video blogging thing. Because I've been frustrated because I'm kind of more engaged than I've ever been. And I want to share more than I've ever wanted to share. And I'm bumping up against... You know, I'm just going to say like technical issues or whatever, and I'll explain it here in a second. And it's it's like frustrating. It's not the experience of video blogging. It's not you guys. It's not, uh, uh, you know, whether I want to share or not. But the experience of it, to do it, you know, like I've been doing with longer videos and stuff, it's getting frustrating. It's starting to feel awkward and hard and irritating, and i got to think about it too much, and it's not natural. And I haven't figured that out. Okay, so here's the problem. There's so much going on yesterday, I couldn't make a video. That's the simplest way to put it. There was so much going on yesterday, I could not make a video. What happens is I turn the camera on and I instantly start thinking, well, this video can't be very long because the longer it is, the longer it takes to produce it and to get it out and for you to watch it. And I know if it's 10 minutes long, that takes so many hours to process and save and review and upload. And if it's four o'clock, you're not going to see the video till midnight, no matter what. And that's if I'm like right on it, setting timers. So I'm watching a, something with my family or I'm somewhere and I'm like, yeah, but I got to run back to my computer and do this because I've been waiting 38 minutes for that to upload or well, you know what I mean? So it's like it gets complicating. And you, well, I'm just being honest, the, 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 the more difficult it is in the technical sense. The less that we have of this, you know, that in the moment, in the, you know, in the presence of this moment, we just, we have less of it. So the easier it gets for me, shit, and now all I'm doing is just, fuck, video blogging about video blogging. Okay, I got all that out of my system. They really don't need to know about that video blogging stuff. Just talk to them about Chase. But you kind of do need to know all that video blogging stuff because it's what's going on. It's what I'm thinking about. It doesn't matter. If I really solve the problem or not, it doesn't really matter if I, because I'm just video, I'm just sharing. This is what's on my mind. I've been thinking about it a lot, so it's okay. The last time I said Chase and I were really bumping heads, and he's not here right now. He just left. He spent the night here last night. Yeah, I'll give you some headlines. He quit his job today, and he's moving to California in a couple of days. Uh, okay, it's gotten crazy. And I wanted to interview him about it. He's like, I don't know if I can talk about it, Dad. I just, he gets like me, like he, there's so much he wants to say. Instead, instead of saying anything, he starts thinking about what he wants to say. And then he's like, it's too much. and I can't articulate it. And he gets, like Chase can't communicate like I can. What I can do is just turn it on. Even though I'm, that confusion is in my head and the bottleneck's happening and it's my mind's going every direction and I'm thinking, you know, five levels deep and my dog's digging a hole and hey knock it off he's ready for a walk come on he's getting antsy over here on me and i've already had a walk this morning and he is fantastic dog and he's been responding so well to our training and zach george oh my god zach george um he, he we've been me, andrew and i've been watching his videos andrew has watched more of them than me just because the time thing but like i turned her on to your he's a dog trainer here on youtube and he taught us a few real simple things, which I want to talk about that too. Oh my God, I, I can't. Unless I can video blog more. And you know what? Then there's people telling me you should start like a pay-per-view, like a separate thing where people would pay, subscribe monthly. If I post like two hour, a day. you know, like if I just post it all the time, like it's, it's just a feed of almost like I'm just posting shit all the time. Just, I, just, I don't know. Just, just all kinds of shit. And that would be like a pay. I would love to do that because if someone was paying me to do it, I wouldn't feel like it was a waste of time because on YouTube, it's it's like a waste of time. I, it's, it's, it's hours and hours of work, you know what I mean? And there's I make no money from it. Unless you could say that my audience is watching me and they're buying candles, I'm making money from it. But it's just, there's too many moving parts and pieces to my life. I cannot ever figure it out. Let me get back to Chase. All right, so we had, Chase and I had spent some time together. 
and okay shit we have this pendant project that we're working on okay now i'm irritated i get we're gonna be making them tonight oh and this is the other thing i wanted to say about video blogging i plan on making a video blog every single day seven days a week every every day that is when i'm going to wake up every single morning saying oh have I posted my video blog yet today? What am I going to video blog about? Oh, there's something going to pretty funny is going to happen at 8 o'clock. I'll grab some footage of that. But that means it won't go up till the following day. You know what I mean? Like, I somehow or another, I got to think about these things when everything's in real time, which is no fun to me to shoot a video blog this week and share it with you next week because you're excited about one thing that's going on in my life and I'm already somewhere else, so I feel disconnected from you. So it has to be real time for it to feel like I want it to feel. That means... That means I might post, want to make a video blog in the morning about something, but then something happens in the evening. I'm like, no, I'm not going to post two videos today. So, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to, I really would like to just post as many videos as I want in some way or somehow. And I can't do that on YouTube. Can I please get back to Chase? Please, would you shut up for just two fucking seconds? Somebody gave me this little thing and I then I customized it and made it my own. I showed it to Chase. He freaked out. He showed it to his friends. They all freaked out. They showed it to their friends. They all freaked out. Everybody wants one. And we, they, Chase has gone to a couple festivals and he can't, and he's like, dad, I want to do this. And so yesterday he quit his job. But the day before we had just had this text, I'm sorry. Oh my God. So, uh, so I said to him and I think, I think I either video blogged before. I don't know. I could look on the times when I talked to you about this, but I said, uh, so after, uh, some thoughts, this is what I was trying to say yesterday as a father. I want to listen, support, and love. He says, okay, so what's next? I said, as a business partner, I want to challenge you, push you, make sure that we're on the same page so we can get shit done, and I can't do both. He said, yes, but that's what I need you for. So what's the problem? I said, you need me as a dad. You will, be fine. You will find plenty of business partners. When they challenge you, you can break up, fight, compromise, buy each other out, sue each other or whatever you want. But with us, it needs to stay positive. So I'm 100% behind you as a dad. I'm excited for you and the journey that you are on. I always want to be listening, loving and encouraging you. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. But, um, but as a business partner, I think you're spinning, spinning, spinning. And not even you know where it's when or where it's going to stop. You don't want to take charge or anything or any responsibility. You just want to go where you go. And live your life on a grand adventure, as a grand adventure. So just go. I will be watching and cheering you on just like I did the last time you set off to make your mark in this world. Instead of being critical and confrontational and saying what, wait, no, why, how, and so on. I said, that is really what it's all about for me. And he said, okay, sounds cool. Now, that was a hard message. It was the truth. It was the right thing to do. But it sent me into like a nervous breakdown. So Chase, mold that over. I mold that over. I basically just said, it is what it is. I did the right thing. It's painful. But when I was crying out to God, simply out of desperation, just broken, just bucket. I don't know what else to do. It ain't going to hurt anything. And I just said, God, don't, uh, don't make me carry this burden of being able to help my son because of my gifts and my talents and my expertise and the, my life journeys. And don't, don't give me an idea that could change the course of his life or, or, and, and don't give me that. And, and, uh, and not let me give it to him. Like, I, I don't know how to be a dad from a distance, be, you know, be his teacher and be in, you know, be the guy that inspires him and also be the guy that encourages him, loves him, be the guy that teaches him, but be the guy that encourages him, you know, scolds him. And I don't know how to be all of it. It's hard. And I want it to be at all. But at the end of the day, if I fail it at all, I just want to love him and just like be his, you know, like his biggest cheerleader. That's the truth. 
and I, so I just had this breakdown because I couldn't do it, but I knew the right thing to do was just to tell him, you know, good luck. And, and so anyway, <clears throat> so the next day rolls around, which was yesterday, and I'd had this pretty bad breakdown. And uh, my partner Chris shows up, my business partner Chris, and, you know, we had a really good talk. And Chris is getting ready to leave, and Chase just walks in behind me. And uh, I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, uh, I just want to talk. And basically, he's like, Dad, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just so sorry. I'm moving too quick. And uh, I want you here. I want you with me. I want to be on a big adventure with you. You're my dad. And um, he's like, you know, I'll do what I got to do. And I just said, I need more of this. I need more of, uh, I do. I'm not trying to be mean. I just need you to. I just need you to listen to me a little bit, son, and, and like, I'm not going to fight with you. When you're ready, I'm here, but like, I'm not going to make you do it. I'm not going to fight you. If you just want me to laugh at all your jokes and be your biggest cheerleader, I'll do that. But like, I, I think I have some to give deeper if you'll accept it, you know, and he's like, I'm here. Let's do it, Dad. And he goes, uh, and so we talked for like two hours and we're brainstorming and he's going crazy and I'm excited for him to be honest and I'm jealous that everything he's getting ready to do. And I'm like, can I do it with you? It'd be great for YouTube. You know, we'll make video, father, son, video blogs. And you know, honestly, we're laughing our butts off and it's like a win-win. We're going to go have a grand time and people are going to have a grand time and people are going to relate to it. And it'll help both of our businesses grow with the, his pendants. And I, like I said, I want to tell you more about the whole thing and the concept behind it and, and what he's doing and how he's doing and what it looks like and how he came up with it and his vision for it and just see that youthful energy and his friends who are all excited and they all want to quit their jobs and they all think they're going to make so much money and well, if we just made 10 a day you know one uh you know two an hour uh we can do even we can make them in five minutes like we can sit around and then we make 10 a day and and that's 50 a week and then we'll go to like to a music festival can we sell 50 at a music festival at twenty dollars in each that's a thousand dollars and we got you know just only maybe 25 percent of that in hard roll cost that has to go back you know so that means we might have made you know seven hundred and fifty dollars shit none of us that's twice as much as we all make working for the man for 40 weeks and we can go to festivals every weekend and make twice that and make 10 pendants a day from this thing that your dad came up with of course me and chase came up with it but I mean, they're going crazy and they're driving me nuts and I'm got guys, I can't, I gotta, you can't, I'm working, doing other things. But there's nothing else I'd rather be doing than just being with my boy, you know? Tube it, tube it, everybody doing it.